I think the worry for some people um, using iPads in education is is there perhaps a lack of control that the teacher may have when you have 20, 30, however many students you have all with iPads. There is a worry that once you turn your back, they're going to quickly go onto another app. I don't know, let's just say Angry Birds, why that would be on there, I don't know. But do you know what I mean? They would just be able to switch to an app that they would rather use rather than one um, that has been specified by the teacher at that point. Now, since iOS 6 has come out, that has been um, rectified, as it were, and that's called guided access. Let's give you an example. If I go to settings, and under general and accessibility, you can see, there we go, under learning, there is guided access. And at the moment, I've actually turned it on. So I'm just going to click on there for the time being. There we go, and I've turned guided access on. Let's just turn it off again for a second, just so you can see what happens. So, guided access keeps the iPad in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. To start guided access, triple click the home button in the app you want to use. Let's have a look then. So, turn guided access on. I'm gonna now set a passcode. Click on there. I wouldn't do this normally, but I'm just gonna choose one, two, three, four. Type it in again, one, two, three, four. There we go, uh, we're good to go. So, home button, down the bottom there. Now, let's choose an app, shall we? Now, I use this on open day and open evening just to prevent um, visitors coming in for, to this particular, I had a few iPads out, to this particular iPad, um, and, because I wanted to basically test see how it worked. So, I'm gonna choose a World War II uh, timeline app, because, well, why not? It's an awesome app. So while it loads up, it's like they said. I'm going to click the home button three times and see what happens. One, two, three. Now we're into guided access. You've got a number of options at the bottom. Hardware buttons, always off. So these and the side. Touch is on, motion is on. You can turn both of those off if you want. Now, let's click start up in the top right, guided access started, here we go. So I can use this app as normal, go through, using the touch screen, watch a bit of a video if I want. By the way, if you haven't got this app and you're interested in World War II, get it, it's, it's fantastic. Um, and I thought we are gonna start using that in in history. So the student's got decided that he wants to get out of that app, clicks the home button, nothing. Guided access is enabled. Look at that again. Triple click the home button to exit, so one, two, three, and then you've got the students have got to put the pin number in. So they are locked in that app. So when you finish, the teacher can then come through. Oh here we go. Pass. I didn't even realise that I did that, so there we go, it's a nice surprise. Um, it had locked it because I tried to put a PIN number in and then decided against it. Right, enter passcode, one, two, three, four. End. And I can now go back. I think it's fantastic. The next step for me would be able to, would, would allow the teacher to select multiple apps so the students can only use, I don't know, the timeline, iMovie, Garage Band, for instance. Because in lessons, we're not just going to use one app. Anyway, there's a little, little look at that. Incredibly useful. Give that a go.